Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, it's the 31st of December 2021, also the last day of the year, and what are we usually doing on a Juventus YouTube channel? We are doing a big review, how were the last and past 365 days? Guys, I have to say I'm sorry, we have no time to do that, I'm really sorry for you, why? Because yesterday, in what was looking an easy and relaxed day without too many news, there was one name that came in all the Spanish sport papers and that information has been relayed everywhere in the world. We are not speaking about the new striker of Juventus, but we are potentially speaking about one that can leave, one that nobody was thinking he could leave in January. Remain on the channel for the last time of the year. I'm asking you to put a maximum of like. I want to go in really crazy numbers in maximum of like. Subscribe to the channel. We speak about Morata after the intro. As anticipated in the intro or just before the intro, we'll speak about Alvaro Morata because yesterday we had a lot of Spanish papers that were giving and reporting the news that Alvaro Morata could potentially leave already Juventus in January. We are tomorrow, January, so it can be maybe the last few days of Morata in Torino. We start with the Spanish paper Sport, who's speaking actually about Morata because they have chosen for his picture to cover nearly the entire page of Sport with option Morata. There is an option for Morata. The talks started already with Xavi, the trainer of uh, Barcelona that already called him. They found an agreement. We will speak about it in detail in a few seconds, but also us, the other page from Spain, the Madrid page, they are saying Morata es el nueve elegido por Xavi. Xavi has chosen, he has chosen his number nine, the number nine, the future number nine of Barcelona. And then we go to Corriere dello Sport. We think Depay per Morata. La Juve dice non basta, the pie for Morata, Juventus say no, it's not enough, we are looking for something else, so what is Juventus looking for? Wait, wait, before starting to explain you who we are looking to replace Morata, maybe it's really important to explain why that situation started to be on all the papers, because we know that Morata is the number 9 of Juventus, he's the starter, he's the striker of Juve over Moisken, that is still young, that has to grow, that comes back from Paris Saint-Germain Everton, we have our number nine Morata Alvaro that is really in love with the club that is really in love with the city he wants to stay yes but the problem is that Juventus communicated apparently these are the rumors to Alvaro Morata look Alvaro one year we took you on loan we extended you on loan and we gave you the chance to also show us that you are convincing us because you are the real starter of Juve we have to sign you for extra 35 million euro we will not do it, we will not extend it, we will not buy you at the end of the year, we prefer to tell you now, why? Because we have a strong relationship and Morata said, eh, if you are not planning to continue with me, if you are not planning that me, Alvaro Morata, that did some sacrifices also financially to join Juventus, I want to leave and we know that Xavi is a Spanish guy. Alvaro Morata as well, they had some contact and uh, uh, apparently Xavi said, I count on you, I want to take you for probably the next six months and who knows, maybe even take you totally because you are the one that can reinforce a Barcelona that need you. And B B Morata, eh, he fell in love with these words because he's also thinking about his future. Is he doing something wrong towards Juve? No, he's thinking about also himself. He says, you know, whatever I do at Juventus, they will probably not count on me so the adventure the journey between Morata and Juventus is over it's good for me to look somewhere else now pay attention because there is a trio there is there are some difficulties like um Tutor Sport are saying yes Morata Barca but there are still some difficulties difficulties in terms of salary because we know that Barcelona still have some financial problem they can eventually buy the, the player from Atletico Madrid not from Juve in terms of money 
but they have a salary a salary you have to respect and at the moment they can't they just can't so they will have to sell some players and that's why uh, Barcelona is thinking about giving away Depay they are speaking about Dembele and more players Umtiti and so on first they will have to put some players away to be able to take also Morata in terms of salary uh, let's see if that will happen or not then there is another thing it's that uh, Barcelona will have to deal yes with Juventus but also with Atletico Madrid because Atletico Madrid is the owner of Morata and then there is a last problem and it's not the least one is before Juventus says yes it's fine for me uh, first of all we will have to find a new striker and that will be may maybe the one of the most complicated thing finding the new striker because we were already looking for one we didn't find him yet we didn't have someone that convinced Juventus 100% and if we will have to look for two that can be even even more difficult there is one thing that is sure like Romeo Agresti said there is a total 100% yes from Morata to Barcelona and maybe they will go for an 18 months contract so probably finishing the six months of loan and taking one more year of Morata from Atletico Madrid the player is convinced about joining them crazy he will be the third player that will play have played in the three Spanish big giants in speaking about Atletico Madrid Real Madrid and Barcelona we have other things to speak who will be actually the striker that can replace Morata if the deal is done uh, Tutto Sport is speaking about Icardi Icardi is the man for Juve he is the right bomber and Juventus is in negotiation they really want him they already put uh, aside a lot of names Icardi is one of the most Incredible ones. There is one problem apparently is that uh, Paris Saint Germain they are saying we want the obligation, we want to loan him, but then there is an obligation where Juve says eh, we are still in doubt. So let's see what will happen there. Not only the striker because Gazeta dello Sport is saying a new year, but also a new Juve. Why? Because it's not only Morata, but uh, there are some other players that might leave, like Ramsey, like for example Kulusevski. There are some talks about. Uh, uh, Origi, the Belgian player from Liverpool going to Juve and then there are some uh, words about Lo Celso, Lo Celso swap with Kulusevski, a total new Juve, a new look for Juve in January 22, let's see if that will happen or not, I already told you about Origi, Origi the player that is probably not the one that Juventus would dream out uh, because it's not one that is really productive in terms of goals, but it can be one player that can reinforce uh, Juventus, maybe to together with Icardi two new players who were speaking about two strikers Icardi Origi would you be a big fan of that yes or no let me know in uh, in the comments and then Nicolo Skira is actually also reporting Tottenham are still interested in Day and Kulusevski they uh, Max Allegri is not 100% believing in the Swedish player so maybe that can be happen and then for Lo Celso let's see if that can happen yes or no we continue with Ramsey Ramsey that has one option and it is Newcastle already in January what about the Supercoppa that we have to play versus Inter uh, they are thinking that both clubs are thinking to postpone it towards May why May because apparently now with the stadiums at a capacity at 50% they are losing a lot of money so it's nothing to see with uh, the two teams that don't, don't want to play because they are not in shape or whatsoever or too much games in January no it's just the fact that if we play with 50% of capacity both teams will lose a lot of money let's see if we will play that game yes or no one thing is sure the players arrived yesterday to start again training after day holiday and today we will have uh, the South American players that will start also like Dybala that will start again training today there are some players that are tested positive to COVID they are coming back from holiday I'm expecting even more we start with four players from the under 23 speaking about Miretti, Anzolin, Sekulov and Matthias Sule both uh, all the four players were tested positive I hope that's it but I'm uh, thinking that there will be more players like for example Napoli that has two more tested positive and we are speaking about Ozyman and Elmas two players that are even more positive and it's really annoying that's what i tell you maybe no supercoppa maybe no game versus napoli let's see one other thing is sure apparently osimani said that he wants to refuse to play the african cup to stay with napoli he doesn't want a, a war to start between napoli and between nigeria 
to Ed Strange. And then I want to finish uh, with a few words. Yesterday, Cancelo, Joao, our ex players, he posted a picture of him injured at his face because he said that yesterday uh, he was actually assaulted, attacked by four men that were robbing him. They were attacking him and his fa family. Luckily, the family has nothing. He said, uh, I'm really, really devastated and I don't believe and I can't believe how much these kid, the kind of things are really strange. How is it possible that we have so bad people on earth? So my last word for uh, 2021, hoping that you have a better 22, are that try to be a better person that you were yesterday. That's super important. Guys, I hope you are doing well. I hope you will have a great time with your family. Thank you. Forza Juve.